Marie, what are you doing? I was just wondering how many layers I'd have to wear if there was no insulation in the cockpit. But that makes no sense. You're not even in the cockpit, and it's 30 degrees outside. Did you know that when the pilots fly SI2, they climb to the height of Mount Everest, and they do this every day? The outside air temperature can reach minus 40 degrees Celsius. But that's crazy. How can they fly when it's so cold? Well, luckily, the cockpit of Solar Impulse 2 is insulated with a lightweight material developed by our partner Covestro. The insulation that's in the cockpit is incredibly light and incredibly thin. But uh, as you know, there is no airco system in the cockpit and there is no heating system in the cockpit. So for Baton and for Andre, the thing that keeps them able to survive the extremes of the outside temperature is that insulation. It was Covestro's job to make a livable home for the pilots. So that's what we did with our material for the cockpit. We have our lightweight insulation polyurethane foam, and then we also provided our polycarbonate for a windshield. This polycarbonate is really cool where it's extremely strong, but then extremely lightweight. You can actually take an ax to our polycarbonate and it doesn't break. Exactly. The same clean technology is used on the gondola where the batteries and engines are stored, right? These gondolas are compartments that store the batteries and also the motors. So Covestro was challenged to develop a solution using their polyurethane material that would allow for the storage of the batteries and the motors. It actually has 40% smaller pores than regular insulation, which reduces air exchange from inside to outside. We were required to provide a solution to make the actual shell of the cockpit be the foam. So there's the insulation that we provide, but then it's also the skin. So you didn't need a two-step process and that allows us to cut back on the weight and provide more efficiency. And the coolest thing is, is that you can use this material on the ground to improve energy efficiency. And if you think about it, that's exactly the same trick you have with your refrigerator at home. And indeed, we have already started using this material in some of these new A triple star plus refrigerators that you can now buy uh, to use in your home. Uh, typically, a refrigerator is one of the biggest users of energy in a house today. And uh, especially with these huge refrigerators in America, uh, finding really good quality insulation is so key to improving energy efficiency. So the material that's in Solar Impulse 2 is already out there in the market uh, protecting uh, food. If this insulation was installed in regular houses, we could save 20% of our yearly energy bills. It's crazy that something we use every day consumes so much energy. Nat, get out of that fridge. You're wasting energy. <laughs>